guys, doll check back. So Andrew needed some serious repair after the armature snafu. Um, at the end of the first video I put up for this, I went ahead and showed some patching on the creases. So when I came back, I let that set first before he even touched his hand. And so you go back and, and I just stretch and, and pull a little just to make sure that the, the patch is gonna hold. Now, about that hand damage that I mentioned in the last video, y'all ready for this? I'm telling you. E ouch. Uh, so yeah, let's just take a look at the damage here. So the bottom side there is where the armature came out. The first time I put it in, um, it was a real mess. That top hole is where I actually pulled through this time. Let's take a closer look here. That is some serious tearing. Tearing is a whole other thing than fixing an incision. Uh, basically, you just got to fill with more silicone. So I had not only the repair that I needed to do from taking the old armature out where his hand was kind of shredded. I also had that small hole, the new one that I made a little further over. So as patching goes, this one requires quite a bit of silicone. I still used clear silicone because I felt like I could still get the tear closed up real tight that you wouldn't really see it. By this point, since Andrew is a test baby, he really does have some places where if you pull and stretch on the silicone, you can definitely see that it was altered, it was patched, you know, it, it was kind of torn up. The learning process is such that mistakes are going to happen. Um, mistakes aren't regrettable. They are a learning opportunity. So every time I do something with Andrew, and God love the poor little guy, he, he really is a trooper through all this. Um, but every time I do something with him, you know, there's damage that I have to repair. This was part of the reason that I chose to keep him in my own collection. Um, because I don't feel like this baby with this kind of damage uh, should really, in good faith, be sold to anyone as, you know, hey, this really nice silicone baby. These are thousands of dollars. You know, n nobody wants these kind of, uh, this amount of boo-boos, if you will, on a silicone. And Someone had said to me not too long ago, well, you know, I mean, if you can't see them, then what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that they're there, you know, and as I said before, yeah, you know, you can repair the damage, but it doesn't repair it back to new. And so in my mind, because I know that those patches are there, uh, I, I don't feel like I should send this one out the door. I don't feel like he, you know, should be sold to someone only for them to find out what if one of them patches lets go, you know? Now looking at his hand here, you can see the tear patched real nice. Um, so did the hole. But again, that hole that opened up like that, it was because this is the third time an armature has been pulled out of there. Um, and I, I checked the seams again, you know, really pull on them, really tug, and there's a rip in there. Uh, between that that right there where I'm poking at there was a rip there too so I just pull on everything kind of actually stretch it out pretty good make sure that it's going to hold um, and not peel that way once I mat over it it's good Andrew gets clean bill of health it's good so we're going to use some just matte here uh, you could use silicone velvet I know there's a couple other brands whatever whatever your choice is matting powder um and I found these little, they're actually brushes to clean eyelashes. They're makeup brushes to clean eyelashes. They're disposable. I found out they work really good for a wet mat if you're working like this in a small spot. So I still stuck with the Psycho Paint Base for um, a wet layer to put the matting on. Now, you will see me go over his thumb. The thing about it is... Uh, I really wanted to use that armature. You know, with Andrew, I try to do a lot of the don't do this with your baby because I'm curious. I'm curious to know how long that takes until it damages a baby. You know, the, the answers to these questions are pretty vague. Um, I wouldn't call it a hard and fast rule just because on my one baby uh, that that's how it goes. But I think it's a pretty good indicator nonetheless of, you know, maybe... People give you these, oh no, big death warnings, you know. Um, I feel like I'd like a little more information. I'd like to know, okay, well, you know, like how often if I stick the baby's thumb in the baby's mouth, how often do I do that? Or how many times could I do that before the paint starts wearing off? Well, in Andrew's case, um, the paint, and, and it's funny because it didn't really peel. It just kind of like, 
Like it lost color. I don't know how to explain it. Like there were no edges peeled up, but clearly it was missing some paint, you know, because his uh, flesh tone, beginning flesh tone from when he was black started showing through. So in this case, since I fixed the armature and I've decided that I am satisfied with why it is we should not stick fingers in the baby's mouth. And then I'm going to go ahead and mat over it. I'm not fixing his paint right now. Um, he does need a full wet mat again because, you know, uh, his eye, his eyelashes has started falling out. And when I removed them, the holes, because I, it was a learning thing. Again, it was the first eyelashes I did on a silicone. There were kind of some holes I had to fill in. So he does need a wet mat all over. This um, matting that I'm putting on here, it is just for the purpose of he gets dressed. This is his arm and his hand. They take a lot of wear and tear. So when I'm done matting, and of course, you know, I'm not going to leave like a two-hour video till it cures, but wait till it's cured. And I like to use acetone to go over things first. Uh, acetone doesn't do a single thing to silicone. Nothing. Does nothing. Has no effect. Um, it's just a cleaning agent. But after the silicone, I do like to take some of the uh, Novox gloss, the thinner solvent, and I like to go over it with the Novox gloss. Here's the thing about matting. That matting powder isn't designed to stay on the baby. The matting part, that what that powder does, is it creates little dimples um, and texture. It texturizes this, the top layer of silicone and that's what causes the matte look. It's not the powder itself. So I try to get all that powder off just so that, you know, I've got a, a good layer, a good even layer to start with. So here's his hand. Um, and again, you know, there, there is a little spot there. If, if you know what you're looking at, as you can see, it was torn, it was damaged, but he's patched up. Um, his thumb, whatever peeling or paint missing there is, is now sealed over so that it's not going to lose even more paint. And his creases, uh, where we cut them open look pretty darn good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.